hey, I'm going to see if I can fiddle around with Node and get it to load and modify and save to a JSON file. So I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to move into that folder. I'm going to create a couple files. So here I've got index and data. I'm going to put one, two, three. And here I'm just going to say, hello. So that's working. So if I say fs should be the fs module, and then I said log fs read file, oops, read file sync. What does that give us? A buffer. One, two, three. So if I were to do type of, I bet that is a string though. Yeah. So one question that I had is, can node require a JSON file? I thought it could. Hmm. Can't find data.json. Don't know what I saw. So I think the correct way to do this would be to JSON parse the text of the red file. Now it looks like I've got three numbers in that array. So if we say function load JSON looks something like this, file name uh, default is a string. Oh, we should probably do like an fs exists. Is that something? fs exists sync. So if the file name exists, then we want to return reading the file name, that file, and converting it to string. Otherwise, we'll just say nothing. So we can probably simplify this whole thing here, if else to return that, yes or no. OK, so load JSON data.json. So hopefully this runs our function, gives it the file name. If the file name exists, it gives us back the parsed file that's not JSON. Oh, maybe I, mm, yeah. So I'm going to parse this whole thing, whatever it is. But I'm going to say that you always get JSON back from load JSON. That makes sense. So if I run this with a file name that exists, we get that. And if I say fake, we should just get an empty string. Oh, it didn't like that. Do I have to do a string containing an empty string? What would you do for an empty JSON value? That makes sense. It could be whatever you want. It could be an empty array. We'll just do null. So that's going to be our load. I bet we can do something very similar with save JSON and say whatever the JSON is. Yeah, I do want an empty string so that if we write something that doesn't exist, it just writes an empty string. I don't want to write null. So all we got to do here is, do you think if there's a read file sync, there's a write file sync? Now, if you are a write file sync, you probably need a file name and something to write. Do you think it would be file name 
JSON? I guess I have to stringify that first. Or do you think it would be JSON file name? I'm guessing probably file name first. We could easily look this up, but we're just going to try it and see. So if we can load data.json, save that as an object to something that we can work with in JavaScript, and then save the post modified thing, I think that we can read a JSON file, make a change, and then save it. So let's see if that works. I wonder if it'll even update live. So if I say, data equals load JSON, data.json. And then we're going to do data push for save JSON. There, what happens? Didn't like that. File name is not defined. Uh, yeah, that's correct. I did not say file name is a string. And there we go. It updated. So here, if we had something like this that said, uh, um, my data, and then it had an array of something Uh, let's just do strings here. Uh, that's not JSON. It needs double quotes. So if we've got files, A, B, C, this is going to look a little bit different now. Um, the load and the save are the same. So what do we do with it? We load this and we say data files push Uh, let's have some fun with it. Uh, A, B, C, D, E, F for each letter. So now we should end up with some extra characters. What did I do wrong? T, E, title. Oh, I have to quote everything. JSON is strict. It works, but it is strict for each. There we go. So <clears throat> actually, we can make that a little bit nicer. <laughs> there we are. So JSON stringify allows you to specify the indentation. So before, I hadn't specified that, so there wasn't any indentation. So there is a load JSON and a save JSON function for node. And we can use it to read from a file, do stuff to it, and save back to a file. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, I think it's probably just about as easy to do this in node as it would be in Deno or pretty much any other language that can read and write files. It's probably the same complexity, just you use different function names and different libraries to do it. So that's kind of all that there is to that. Hopefully that made sense and helps. Have a good one.